Blessed day, my people say, in today's video, we're going to talk about Daryl Vaz, who says it could be up to six weeks before JPS could restore power to 680,000 customers in Jamaica. So if you are one of them person that right now, we are listening to this, and you know, say, I beg, I beg some charge. Well, you might not get light for now, my people. Boy, oh boy. Also, we're going to talk about Jamaica and other Caribbean countries urged to brace for more hurricane like Beryl. So imagine if we get something stronger than Beryl. Hopefully, you know, the, the government can put certain things in place. So if we get a harder hit, you know, things not take so long for comeback. Anyway, also we're gonna talk about Shensia and Ramish giving back to the people in St. Elizabeth. And of course, what about the people who was recently affected by Hurricane Beryl? Also, we're gonna talk about Buster Rhymes going off on the crowd. And this is because the crowd kind of seems to be more in tune with them cellular phone than even Buster Rhymes, is it? So we definitely have a video, very interesting, the way Buster Rhymes was dealing with the crowd and thing is it. Also, we're going to talk about Popcorn not getting any street credit for recently boxing down DJ Mac. And this is coming from Walk and Talk. And of course, I don't know, say, Walk and Talk does a sheer theme opinion. Not sure if Popcorn will be offended, but we have a video where we're going to play. And of course, you can tell more you think. Also, we're going to talk about DJ Mac and a post that he made on his Instagram page. Also, we're going to talk about Minister Marion Hall, formerly known as Lady Sir, said a certain reality show wanted her before another. The artist also we're gonna talk about a rapper named young in ace one of his affiliates was recently conned up and taken out and then i wonder if it actually linked to another artist that was recently conned up so i'll talk about it and also we're gonna talk about chanel muir exposes how her ex fiance used her to gain cloud so before we go no further into the topics don't forget for like share and subscribe also head over to my instagram page mix up time four but i definitely appreciate that all right people so the first thing we're gonna talk about is popcorn zine so i can tell Talk. You don't know him did up on a show recently. Um, how him name is a buck to a show due to the 876 roommates or whatever I want him. And you don't know him, I ask him about the whole popcorn and DJ Max situation. Now, according to Walk and Talk, popcorn no get no farmer street credit or no street ratings for him to DJ Mac. Um, allegedly, <laughs> you understand, even though we see a video footage, so we don't know if we say allegedly, but anyway, he must say because Mac is a little uptown youth. You know, that not really give popcorn the ratings and them thing they see it. So where anything gonna feel like say if it was even a street youth, the same thing would have reach him. And even a question I'm gonna ask what they you know. If popcorn cause them say a valiant him did a look for and rate it, right? Let's just say Valiant was there. Do you think the same thing would have happened? Because Valiant, I would say, is a street youth and an uptown youth. So we're not trying to say I only certain people popcorn have strength for, but can we see some people even ask the question why I never tried that with alkaline and them thing they see me? To which me did even play a video where somebody did a talk about why alkaline, you know, you can't really just run up on alkaline certain way and them thing. But anyway, I could get to a walk and talk after say, and as usual, my people only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. DJ Man TJ said no boy can box him down like DJ Man. Fresh drop. Hey, I mean, up top. Up top. Alright. In real life, tell me for the camera. I know I'm going to screen record it and I know I'm going to do anything. But, TJ, respect everything. I don't know Mac them. I young you. I don't know ever big for them. As a legend, you understand? Mm -hmm. But with Mac get back down, I wanna go talk about it. Like it's a bad man get back down. A joke thing you know listen to that. Right. Right. Come right. on, right. come look up to the youth. Mm -hmm. And again took my child defend himself. Yeah, yeah. Come here clean out to the youth in that. Me not gonna make two and a stood over there with me and the little one, the little um I'm already. Mm-hmm. You see? Come and but bono to go on a rare way. He might try to defend himself. Why could I am to me? I'm to me already me and pop them already. Yeah. You see? So before I start the live dog, that's not something for real to say. Mm -hmm. Bro, believe me that. Come back on a bad man. Yeah. I feel if you see him, I got to ask Papa with 50 man in brief. I'll be giving credit for two or two. I'll be giving credit for I that. Yeah. You see? Come and buy that bro. I saw look at some young bird them in them. Because Amari, come, you know them Amari, I'm Amari, I'm because I could watch a man move to my friend's son. You mean? Two of us got a doctor, two of us got a pharmacy, a man in, for a swell life, if you lose two teeth, 
I took on a wire and two with two of them with low teeth, bro. I mean, half my dog. Stop with man. Stop with comment, man. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Big, big, we go on, dog. I'm in a lot of clothes, I'm in a lot of hyper fight and rare, rare, dog. But, Mac, I'm not the type of youth who go sit down and I like we are girl, Mac. I'm not this boy, Mac, and rare, rare. No, dog. Wrong, I'm right. You're right, man, you're right. You see me? Right. Mark them type of youth, the dog. If you can it, the box on a, 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 um, um, for instance, you know, say, one bad artist out there, one kind of artist name. Mm -hmm. Who could have said, Blood Clan, mm -hmm. I don't want to be a gun, some of them go on them bad artists. Yeah, sure. Right, right, right. Mark, I want to look at DJ, you can build some really one of them things, bro. So, like, no credit to the dog. I really agree. No credit to the dog. But maybe a valiant dog go for the dog, just did that, just. Yeah man, so at the end of the day still my people, we don't promote violence round here, we just talk about things that we say, you know, upon the internet and thing. At the end of the day, we'd I rather if everybody live in love, peace and harmony, but we know that will not happen because in everything, every single thing, you have some form of rivalry. Even at your job, you have somebody who want to reach the, the, the supervisor part where you want to reach her. You understand? It's just life. But anyway, my people, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And since we talk about this whole popcorn and DJ Mac thing, we we'll see you make a post and we we'll just have to talk about that post a quick and fast. You understand, my people? So he post up a couple of photos and him say, unstoppable. Self-belief are the best belief. What if we did listen to everything everybody say? The lie is more entertaining than the truth anyways. Hashtag one of one new music. You see, my people? So I don't know if you might talk about the whole popcorn thing where I said the lie is more entertaining than the truth anyway. So let me know anything about this. Just to talk about this because I see DJ Mac. Make the post on him IG page. You see, my people? Next thing we're going to talk about is a post from see coming from the Gleaner Zine. And it was talking about Daryl Vaz estimate. Say it can take up to uh, um, six weeks before 600 and odd thousand people actually get back them light. You understand what I say? Um, six weeks, my people. That's very long. And like I said in our previous video, what would have happened if we did really get hit by the storm? May I talk like a direct hit? How Jamaica would have actually managed? But anyway, the post was saying, by Daryl Vaz's best estimate, it could be up to six weeks before the Jamaica Public Service Company can fully restore to all its 680,000 customers. It won't take long for the telecommunication service providers to have their systems fully functioning, but it will be days before all subscribers of cable and wireless, and, which is Flow and Digicel, have unimpeded access to internet and mobile telephone. You see, my people, so, you know, I don't know if you have light now, we are listening to this as I say, I know all the people, go places, forget them phone and them thing, charge up and them thing, they see it. And on the flip side, we see a story come out by the observer say, oh, the 2024 hurricane season to see more storms like burial. And this I come from some scientists. So, you know, if we're going to get more storm like burial, me even hear some talks about another storm named Chris, something like some people. Boy, I may tell you, I don't know for say. But I also see a next story where I say um, Hurricane Beryl actually, you know, became a bit stronger based on the hot temperature in the ocean. You understand my people? So Hurricane Beryl in the die out as yet. It's still out there wreak havoc based on this story what I see. You understand my people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Shensia and Ramesh who actually fulfilled their promise that they made. You understand? And this is to the people in St. Elizabeth who suffered, you know, major loss from the hurricane and thing. So you know them go down there and them actually give back to the people them and thing. You know, Shensia posted a couple of videos. Ramesh also posted a couple of videos, my people. So I'm going to do is actually show the videos them and then I'm going to actually show you what Shensia and Ramesh posted as the caption and thing. You see, my people. So yeah, check out that clip here. Come on, go on, go on, go on. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Come on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> Check in at night, come. Look, you're 
That is it, my team. One black boy. That is it, my side. Hi. Yeah, man, so I have a big up Shensi, I have a big up Ramesh, the whole team, because it's definitely a good look. I'm actually just proud of how them go out there and them fulfill them promises and stuff like that, you understand? Unlike, you know, some politicians where make promises and come true with it. But anyway, my people, um, I could get to the caption where Ramesh posts and they were going to move on to where Shensi posts it. So Ramesh said, in everything we do, we try to make it fun and let others be happy. Today was such a bittersweet day helping out the peers of St. Elizabeth, but God is good. And him tag Shensi, a DJ, a black boy and them people and him say, and the rest of my team, thanks so much for all effort. Big up also to all who helped. Big up Superintend Superintendent Minto, Real Boss, and my general, Floyd Green J.A. Right now, I'm tired. <laughs> Here's it, my people. Um, Shensia posted, my last 48 hours have been wholesome as I prepared and distributed care and relief packages to my home parish that has been affected drastically by Hurricane Beryl. I'm so grateful God put me in a position to take care of my people. Big thanks to my team, Ramish Entertainment, for executing the vision always. So, as I say, my people, it's a good look. We have to talk about the good thing, them, because one other artist, if you see them thing here and go out there and do good, you see? Now, those artists, when you have the money, can help, help, because, I tell you, enough people lose all. See, a video with Andrew Olness, I talk to a woman, even though it's a different country that I think of Clarendon, but the woman lose everything. You understand? Just imagine, now we say everything, we talk our house, mash up. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Buster Rhymes, who was recently performing at a show, some Essence Festival zine. And you don't know why they're performing thing. A lot of persons were on their phone because, you know, nowadays, people just can't seem to get them eye out of them phone and things. Zine, artists were perform and the whole crowd stand up and them just now move. You understand? Them just in them phone and thing. Well, Buster Rhymes wasn't having it as the rapper actually call out the people them while on stage, tell them so they need to put on them phone. The man was very upset, my people, is it? So, remember know anything about this and, yeah, watch this. Hey, yo, f*** them camera phones too. Let's get back to interacting like humans. Put them weird ass devices down. I ain't from that era. Them shits don't control the soul. F*** your phone. <gasps> Excuse me, gentlemen. 
Thank you very much. I will point every last one of y'all out until y'all asses is up. 33 years of doing this shit, I ain't used to niggas sitting down at my show. I don't give a f All age groups, get your ass up now. I see you beautiful queen, get up too. What's going on? Everybody up top too. Get your big head asses up. Look, the reason why there will be zero tolerance for bull energy in here is because this is my first time in New Orleans at the first 30 year anniversary of this this, this this my first time. This my brother first time. And it's my other brother first time. Yeah, my people, and of course it can be frustrating being a rapper or being a performer or whatever. They're on stage only to say the whole crowd or half of the crowd they on them phone, not paying no mind, not interacting. But but stuff I understand say, you know, things and times change where people is more focused on them phone rather than do anything. In our party, everybody stand up and them phone them dip on a text and all these things. They're not really good for enjoy themselves that way they or maybe that's a part of the enjoyment. I don't know. But let me know when you think about what Busta Rhymes are some people. Of course, you can't really tell people what to do with them devices because after feed them own and then pay them money for come see you. So you can't really tell them what to do. But we can understand what Busta say. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Minister Marion Hall revealing that a particular reality show wanted her before another artist. And really and truly, only one artist right now we know the reality show and a spice. And of course, we know I love and hip hop. But she never called name, so we don't really know if a spice she talk about or if I love and hip hop she talk about. Anyway, I could still get into the story so I understand a little bit as to what's going on, is it? So it's a Minister Marion Hall says a certain reality show wanted her before another artist. Before she became a Christian in 2015, Minister Marion Hall said she was approached by producers of a certain reality show to join the cast. Then Lady Saw, dancer leading woman, the signing would have made her the first Jamaican born personality to appear on an international reality show. The deal never materialized, and Hall said the producers would sign another Jamaican artist years later, creating speculation that it was the love and hip-hop franchise that Spice joined in 2018. In a recent sermon, the Sorry to Hurt Your Feelings minister shared the backstory, preaching that lofty ambitions may come at a demoralizing cost. I was told by someone who was working with me at the time they work with, I won't say, Hall stopped herself. She said, buy a nice outfit. We're going to meet with some big producers tomorrow. I'm thinking record producers. I bought a dress. We went to the big office. Two men came, but what they saw didn't attract them. They were not actually record producers. They were producers of a reality show. Hall described the dress she had purchased as a church dress, which didn't ooze her queen of dancehall aesthetic. I didn't dress like no dancehall queen. I dressed like a church woman. I sat down and what God did in that place blew my mind up until today. They couldn't come near me. God had a light on me that day right before I got saved. God was saying, you ain't getting this one and I see the same reality show. Someone else got where they wanted to take me. Cause I had no idea this was it. I was not going to give up what they are now giving up to get to that. It will cost you. Hall's successor Spice made a cameo appearance on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta in 2017 before becoming an official cast member the following year. In 2020, spiritual advisor RT Boss took credit for Spice's placement on the show claiming that he told her to take a spiritual bath ahead of her interview with show producers. In her clapback, Spice didn't deny his claim and instead said her f he forced her to believe in the power of such rituals. Before Spice's appearance on the series, Brooklyn-born rapper Safari represented Jamaican culture. So yeah, my people, that's basically the story where Minister Marian Hall was sharing, say, you know, they did actually want her before, you know, Spice, even though she not call her name, but... Who else she could have talked about or which other, which other reality show she could have talked about. You understand my people? So let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the affiliate of a rapper being conned up and taken out. I remember recently, you know my people, we talk about a rapper named Julio Folio who was conned up and taken out while celebrating his birthday, right? This actually happened in a Florida and thing. Well, you don't know them did I speculate, say it's a rapper named Youngin Ace do it. They are rivals and thing. 
Well, we'll come for find out, say, Young in Ace affiliate named Darius Fizzle Beals taken out a couple of days after the, the Julio Folio, you know, get taken out, my people, is it? So, I'm going to read a little piece of story. You understand me? I say, boy, oh boy. We don't really know if it's linking, you know, but you know, people are going to speculate say, because, you know, one person get taken out, then they might go back for revenge and all of that. So, anyway, it's a. A man taken out after being carned up multiple times at Orange Park Apartment Complex. The City County Sheriff's Office said 29-year-old Darius Beals was carned up and taken out at 2020 Wells Road, the Lauderdale Govern, or whatever, apartment complex. So that's some of the information, my people. So I don't know, as I say, I'm not sure if it's connected. But you know how them rivalry thing ago. When one rapper get taken out, them try to take out another rapper and them say if you can't catch Quarko. You catch the shot, right, my people? So as I said, we don't really know. But the rapper who was taken out recently, Julio Folio, I see them and say like him, funeral, keep yesterday. Or yesterday or the day before. So you don't know them. They put out some, you know, little footages and stuff. It's a private funeral, of course, and thing. You understand? And boy, we see him friend and family out there. I sing one song where him do for him ups them, him enemy them. You understand? Yo, them people, I don't know how to behave a funeral, but... I don't know my people. Let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is Chanel Muir exposing her ex fiance and how he actually used her to gain clout and for just basically get a following over on Instagram. You understand what I mean? I say, not Instagram, TikTok. She also talk about him bleaching and all them type of thing there and how she never wanted to be associated with him anymore and all of that. Especially when he start bleach out him skin and them thing there. And he was posting um photos with her and she asked him kindly she asked him rough she asked him all kind of ways not to post up things with her and you know him him i guess tell her say have memories and all of them thing there anyway my people listen what shanil me have to say uh only can tell me anything is it no say him credit tiktok start bleaching skin which is going to draw attention and I post pictures with me and you. I don't want to be associated with you anymore. First of all, people never know of you having a social media page. And as Anzo, why you did I post my picture? Because you want people for, for, for come and say, oh, it's me. Oh, I did you and me and, and, and you are the same person and re, re, re. So me I say, stop posting my pictures. Me ask kindly, me ask nice, me ask rough, me ask hard. Me ask, me say, stop posting my pictures. Stop doing that. Stop going on the media. Stop posting my picture. Oh, me not post them because me, I'm in memories. What do you mean? Stop posting my picture. Then, yeah, go jump on. Yeah, go jump on. There's something I go post, but you get me to one, one, one thousand followers and I go live chat about that thing. You go so boom and you start to draw certain attention to you. You get me? Why you, why, why you try to think, you, why you think you're supposed to use me to do that? If you want to go on me, they yeah, my people, and of course, you know, so recently she removed her Instagram page. So I think if you search right now, you will not find Chanel Muir. You understand, my people? So I don't know, but it seems like the entertainer just not really want to in the bagger bagger and them thing there, which is understandable. She also made it be known, say, she will be focusing on her music and not the bagger mix up and them thing there. So big up yourself, Chanel Muir, and just go on dating as it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until we drop the next video. I'm out.